What's up guys? In this video I'm going to teach you how to do close-up macro photography of a jumping spider who caught another spider and is now having him as a meal. So I have my camera already set up and all I have to do is adjust my focus here to, to far. So I'm in manual focus in AV mode with a Canon PowerShot digital camera. So I got my focus on his eyes and I got my shot right there. So if I want to get in even closer, all I have to do is zoom in, hold down the shutter button, wait for it. Perfect. So as you can see here, if I zoom out, I am about six inches away from the spiders. And what I am using is a clip-on macro lens. So here's the Canon PowerShot digital camera. This is an SX60HS and all we do is take our Raynox macro clip-on lens and we clip it onto the front and we have a close-up macro and super macro photography setup. So this is why I love using these digital cameras for macro photography because this lens is $50 right now on Amazon, eBay, wherever. You can find it for $50 to $75. And it's as simple as going out into the woods and finding an insect to photograph such as this spider. And then you simply clip on the lens onto the front of your camera. There's our spider, zoom in, and on a tripod, you can also, <clears throat> you can also do this freehand, but it takes a lot of experience, and then just take your shot. And if it's, if it comes out blurry, take another one, take another one, and take another one until you're happy with it, and that's all there is to it. So, after you take a few shots from one angle, what I recommend is that you slowly pull back, get up and switch angles, and then try to get a different angle without scaring the insect. And that way you have some variety in your photos. So here's sort of a side angle now. And that's how simple macro photography is. All you really need is a digital camera and you do not need an expensive one because we're only using a digital camera. We're not using an SLR, one of the cameras where you can detach the lens. We're using just a simple digital camera point and shoot. I mean, it's not simple. It's got a lot of technology in it. The SX60HS, for example, has 16 megapixels and it has 1080p video at 60 fps this is an incredible camera i like the focus on this one better but you know you can get used to focusing in with this one too and you can also get some amazing photos and videos all you really have to do is have a nice spot where you can do some photography and then you get out there and you find something to photograph. Zoom in from the proper distance. And take your shot. Oh, he left the exact second I took a picture. So this is handheld, this is freehand. I'm not using the tripod right now. That's why it's so shaky, but as long as you got the right spot when you take the shot you should be able to get a focus shot because of your fast shutter speed so if you guys have any questions drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it again we're using the Canon PowerShot digital camera there's many different models and if you don't need to get the power shot you can get a different digital camera I recommend getting the lens first and if this fits onto the front snugly onto your camera you should be able to get your macro photos and videos and whatever else you want to do. Enjoy.